Last time we discussed Jesus' teaching about the end of the world in Luke chapter 21. There he provides his listeners with wise advice for coming tribulation. In particular, the Lucan Jesus cautions against carousing, drunkenness, and worldly cares, which weigh an Israelite down and distract him from pressing issues. Americans may snicker at this trio of distractions and conclude that our ancestors in the faith were not very different from us. That would be a huge mistake, folks. The ordinary peasants, who together with the expendables and degraded in Jesus' society, constituted 95% of the population of first century Palestine, lived at a subsistence level and would hardly have the means or the opportunity to carouse, to get drunk, or to dream about and pursue creature comforts. They regularly worried about where the next meal was coming from and whether there would be enough for everyone. In other words, they were intensely focused on the present moment and the challenge of staying alive. Now, this kind of warning would be directed particularly to the elites who had both the leisure and opportunity to carouse and get drunk and to allow themselves to be consumed by worldly cares. Luke addresses especially the wealthy who are greedy in his community, those who refuse to share with the needy, as this culture honorably requires. Indeed, at every mention of the word rich in Luke's gospel, it is advisable to cross out that word and pencil in greedy. That is what irks the author we name Luke, and Luke's Jesus, and indeed all the people in Luke's Gospel. Such people will be caught quite by surprise when the Sky Vault Man returns in judgment. No wonder the anonymous and unknown author we call Luke urges, keep yourselves awake. Our ancestors in the faith who were the first to hear or read Luke's warnings were mired down by present concerns. Peasants fought to survive, and the elite sought to make life even more elite. Americans tend to think so much about the future that they totally miss the present. Social media and cell phone escapes remind all of us of how fleeting the present moment is. The advice of the Lucan Jesus suits listeners of every era. Keep awake so that you can escape the final calamity.